I'm Victoria Cooksey and welcome to the first edition of Chocolate Chat. Starting this, I could talk about casually about chocolate, other food, maybe things unrelated to food, answering viewer questions, things like that. And you can see little ears here. Those are King Louie's ears. In the first segment, I'm going to show you my snack drawer. Just kind of healthy snacks I like to keep around. And just as a side note, when I mention these late July uh, crackers in there, I think I say peanut butter cups instead of crackers. So they're crackers. Today I wanted to kind of show you what I keep in my snack drawer and I do try to keep my snacks pretty healthy um, but I want to go for taste too so if I'm going for sort of health I need flavor. I'm going to show you actually three things that aren't in the drawer first <laughs> because they belong in the refrigerator. Um, a lot of these butters, once I open them up, like my almond butter and cashew butter, once they're open, I've got to refrigerate them. So I always have tons of nut butter. And I also like to keep in the refrigerator uh, this yogurt. It's a whole milk yogurt. And what I do with that sometimes is I'll put these chia seeds in it, kind of let them set in there a few minutes and then eat it. Uh, the chia seeds, too, you can put in granola and different stuff like that, which happen to be used and this kind of homemade snack. This is a recipe by Weekend Chocolate. You can find this on the Weekend Chocolate website. And it's for granola that has like chocolate and rosemary and some chia seeds and almonds and oats and different things like that. And golden berries, dried golden berries. So this is very good. So I always like to have granola. Continuing the granola theme. Uh, Hansel and Granola by Mac Chocolate. Oh my gosh, if you like hazelnut and chocolate, oh my goodness, you need this. And I love the name Hansel and Granola. Oh, and if you hear a little uh, nails clicking, as I've said in other videos, that's Louie. Um, he is now almost two years old. He is a French Bulldog Boston Terrier mix, so he's probably gonna make noises while I'm doing this. So definitely check out Map Chocolate, and oh, there he goes. I love their granolas because I will have like, like, well, a fourth to a third cup of this as a snack while watching a show, kind of instead of popcorn. Also with the theme of nut butters, I love these caramel corn rice cakes, very tasty. Um, and it's got whole grain brown rice in it they're made out of. Kind of moving everything up out of the way here. Uh, another nut butter that goes in the refrigerator after I open it, but I haven't yet. Um, <laughs> a blame Estelle from 37 Chocolates for getting me uh, addicted to this mixed nut butter by Trader Joe's. It's got salt and almonds and cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, all those kind of good stuff, pretty tasty. Ooh, and another butter I got there, this cookie butter. Like if you ever like are like, oh, I need a cookie, just have a little spoonful of this and you're gonna feel much better about life. Continuing the theme of butters, oh, eating evolves roasted coconut butter. This is the unsweetened one. Mm. I do love my coconut. I'm really glad coconut's a thing right now because I am enjoying that trend. And then I also have an Amade, another, this is another hazelnut chocolate spread. This one's a little pricey, it's around 15 bucks, but it's uh, probably one of the best hazelnut butter things I've ever had, so definitely recommend that. I always have a ton of like, I've got pumpkin seeds. These are from Thrive Market. I like the Trader Joe's brand too. Um, sometimes I'll buy them from my local co-op. Pumpkin seed is just kind of another way of kind of like if you want like a little bit of a crunchy snack while watching movies or something at night, I use this. And then sometimes I'll put in a combo of just various like mixed nuts, regular nuts. I've got golden berries. I love these dried apricots, so if I do a little nut mix, I like to throw some of those in. I've got some organic freeze dried blueberries. And then sometimes I really want like a peanut butter cracker thing, so I like these late July organic mini peanut butter cups. When it comes to tea, sometimes I want a little tea at night. So I like this uh, Puka Ginger. Um, Louie's getting a drink, so you're probably hearing some water. This Puka 3 Ginger tea is really good. And then I also kind of keep on hand this organic ginger one. I go back and forth between the two. So I brew these up. And then I like to put a little honey in them. I usually have this white gold raw honey um, from Canada. Very delicious. So I'll usually have that and some other honeys around. I'll put a little of that in my tea. And then I also, in my tea, 
put some uh, coconut oil in it. Gives a little bit of enrichment to it. And that's kind of a way to get my coconut oil in. Sometimes I'll cook with this, um, sometimes I'll bake with this, but I do like to put it in hot beverages too. When it comes more like to tea, I don't usually put this in my coffee. I want it to go with something that it matches well with. And the last two things is I do tend to have Luna bars. Um, I'll take these to work as a snack or sometimes I'll have them for breakfast. And then another thing I like to sometimes have as a snack as well at work, especially is these Eating Evolved um, coconut butter cups. I love this banana creep one. I like their mint one too. And I kind of like their uh, philosophy of it's chocolate, it's not candy. <laughs> and like this one, um, ingredients, organic coconut, cacao, coconut sugar, cacao butter and banana so if you want something that's kind of sweet and hits that spot but you don't want to go crazy with the sugar that's kind of another route to go so this is what i rely on my granolas my nuts these kind of things to get me through breakfasts lunch snacks work <laughs> evening watching a movie so uh watch this video hopefully all the way through and post down below what snacks you are eating and what you like to keep on hand because i'm always loving new suggestions to add to my collection and there's louis and this is who you hear when you hear little noises little whines little licking of water when i make videos so the question i'm going to answer today of your question wanted to know how do I eat all this chocolate? <laughs> and it is, you know, a little tricky because I do open a lot of bars quite often because I need to keep trying more and more bars to keep reporting to all of you about them on and because, hello, it's fun. So I kind of go about it different ways. I actually, I keep all my bars that I haven't tried, they're unopened, I keep them in one container. Then once I take them out and do photographs of them, then they kind of get to go into the next container, which means I can eat them at will. And then I have a third container of open ones um, that I like to keep contained because I don't want anything getting into them. Now, some bars are pretty good size, but some bars are more small. So what I like to do is I'll have a couple pieces when I'm trying them out, and then I'm probably going to have some more pieces on another day. Um, I also give some to my husband so he gets to try all these too and I have a friend at work that I often have her try as well just to kind of get the opinion of someone who doesn't study chocolate at all and just see what she's thinking kind of research so that's basically how I end up splitting it up I'll take some pieces to work as a snack or to add to my lunch or kind of that mid-afternoon I need this before I finish my job so that's kind of what I do, but I always do have bars that are kind of half eaten <laughs> lying around, but don't worry, I break pieces off of them. I don't bite off of them. And then what's nice is sometimes in the evenings, you know, if I'm like, ooh, I want something that tastes dark, or I want something that's more creamy, or I want something with certain flavor notes coming through, I have a nice choice. But at the same time, I've got to keep replenishing them. So I'm always looking for the next bar as well. So it's definitely a combination. I used to have a second person at work that I shared them with, but she left me. She went somewhere else. So that made it a little slower to get through the bars. But it's a rough life. Someone's got to eat all the chocolate. For the last segment of chocolate chat today, I'm going to try this chocolate bar. And I haven't tried this one. I've tried the Baker, but not this bar. This is by Dormouse Chocolates. They are made in England. And this particular bar, I literally had just shown up like 10 minutes ago in the mail. This is their 45% Colombian milk chocolate with peppermint fizz. I can smell the peppermint already. So I think this is supposed to have maybe popping candy in it or something. I don't often buy uh, chocolate bars that have all this kind of stuff in it, but I really like this maker, and I thought, oh, this might be a fun one. Sometimes you just got to have fun with your chocolate and not be so serious. So I'm going to pause to open this up, and then we'll taste it. Okay, here we go. I've broken off a piece. I like this mold. You get a lot of mint. A little bit of chocolate comes through. Mmm, mm, that's really nice. And the peppermint's not too overwhelming. And you get just a little bit of popping from the Pop Rock type candy in here. 
but I'm happy to say that there is this sort of dark milk, milk chocolate note coming through so the peppermint doesn't completely bury the chocolate. Chocolate itself, very smooth. I'm still getting a little bit of that crack from the candy. Mm. <laughs> I like this one. This is a lot of fun. Well, thanks for watching Chocolate Chat with me today. And again, leave your questions because I love to be able to answer them. And I'm going to go eat some more chocolate.